This is a difficult one. And um, it's it's not the first time I'm about to read through something like this. It's not going to be the last time I'm about to read through, through something like this. But it is something I'm going to tag my local MP in, Charlie Elfrick, as he defends universal credits. As he defends his party and the vicious attack that they are taking on this country. Now this is in the mirror and I will link the article down below. Headline, calls for minister to quit after excessive winter deaths hit highest level since 1976. I'm not going to read this all because quite frankly I don't think I can. But you all know where I'm going with this. Official figures show that an estimated 50,100 additional people died in England and Wales last winter. So this is, this isn't even this year. It seems like every single day I'm reading another story of another homeless person found dead. Or even worse, a pensioner found dead because they couldn't afford to warm their home. Again, that's because of universal credits. That's because of this Tory attack on the people. Carrying on, this equates to 417 deaths a day, or 17 deaths an hour. Now, it's not just because it's it's cold out. Um, this article also cites uh, things like the flu and the effectiveness of, of the flu vaccine not being as uh, what it used to be. But Universal Credits is to play in this. We've had the, the UN report showing that our politicians, the people who are meant to represent us, don't care. They dismiss reality. It is unforgivable and we cannot forget this. Charlie Elfrick, the numbers are in. Universal credits lead to people dying. There is nothing salvageable, uh, salvageable about this system. It is a blatant attack on the people. While the Conservative Party claim up to 35 times more than what they would uh, exclude a child from having a free school dinner. Charities saying they're preparing during the summer, that they were preparing for children to come see them because they wouldn't get fed at school because of universal credits. Because of the growing poverty in the UK. Politicians in Westminster want to say that they've lowered the number of struggling households. Okay, yeah, you have, but you've done that by forcing the people onto the streets. They still struggle, they're still there, they just don't have a home anymore. I want to say that they've lowered the number of unemployment. You've done it by rebranding what unemployment means. There aren't more people in full-time work. There are just more people who are fortunate enough to get one hour of fortnight. And when they get that, the money that they earn comes off of any benefits that they might receive. Again, I will leave that article down below. Read it. It's, it's a difficult one. But if our politicians are too unbothered by death, then they shouldn't be in the positions they're in. And yes, I directly mean you, Charlie Elfrick. You do not deserve the position you're in. You do not deserve the privilege you have. You sure as hell don't represent anyone in Dover or Deal. And by denying these deaths, by denying this poverty, when your party ignores a damning report, there's nothing salvageable 
salvageable about you as a human being. Again, the link to that report will be down, uh, the link to that article will be down below. Please read.